Hey, Dion, Oceana here with G3 Agency. Um, this is your free website audit for uh, your company, uh, Extreme Steam Clean. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say, but I love it. Um, so basically the goal of this video is to show you how you can get in front of the people searching on Google for your business. Um, my idea is that you can take this information and do these things yourself or have somebody on your team take care of these things. Um, alternatively, uh, if you're interested, my team and I might be able to help you. Um, the next step, if you are interested in working with us, um, would be to sit down and talk about your business goals, um, whether you plan on growing a lot or if you're just looking for a steady low stream of, it, of uh, customers, etc. So um, the next part would be to sit and talk about your business goals. But for now, the idea is that you can take this info and run with it and never talk to me again and still get lots of um, good, uh, just a lot of good information and be able to take this information and, and use it to increase your, your flow of business. So let's jump right in. First of all, I love that you have click to call phone numbers up here. I always tell people that they need them and you got them. So well done. Um, now next is content. How many words are on the, on the page? Are they talking about what you do, how you do it, where you do it? Um, so you definitely could use more words on your page. Uh, I will I will suggest that you also make sure to include the, these specific phrases that people are um, typing into Google when they're looking for you. So, but they don't know who you are yet, right? <laughs> they know that they need your services. So 200 people a month, I can tell from this uh, chart here, Two people, 200 people a month are typing carpet cleaners, Peoria, AZ, spelled ex just exactly that way um, into Google each month uh, on average. You know, it might be 191 month, 250 the, the next month, you know, I don't know exactly, but I know that an average of 200 people each month do type this in to Google. Um, and then this, for, uh, this uh, uh, number here, shows me how competitive it is to get to the first page of Google, and three is a really good score for us. This means that there's low competition to show up there, meaning that, yeah, there's people on the first page of Google, of course, but they're not trying very hard to be there, so it won't be hard to beat them out uh, and get ahead of them. So um, then I want to show you real quick, this is another thing that this tool, the same tool that I got these, um, the Keywords Explorer, I uh, found these keywords that people are typing. Um, this also gives me an in-depth look into how a website's performing. It's another function of this tool that I love. Um, <laughs> I spend all day looking at this. <laughs> um, so your, the UR score is how trustworthy this exact page is. And this is actually a fairly impressive score. This shows me that you've been working on being uh, seen on Google. Um, and so you already understand uh, that there's some work to be done there. Um, I can see that you've been building your referring domains since it looks like June of last year. So it's been about a year, a little more than a year now since you started that. Um, so that's really good. Uh, I would be careful as you're building this up, though, that you're making sure that they're high quality, lead, uh, high quality referring domains. So just in case you're you're unaware of what these mean, um, because I can't assume that you know just because it's you know done on your site doesn't mean that I that you did it. Um, so a referring domain is any website that has a link to your website on it. Um, and then backlinks is a, the number of links that are pointing to you. So there are 29 different websites out there on the internet that are pointing to your site a total of 131 times. But the really important is this number. This number is okay, but this one's more important. Um, so you want to make sure, and I'll click on this, I can see which ones, which sites are pointing to your site. And you've got a generally pretty healthy backlink profile here. But I just want to make sure that you know, um, like this one, this this site's not helping you. Lowserve.com, they could have as many uh, links to your site. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, in fact, it might actually hurt you if they have lots because they have such a low score. They're not trusted by Google. So having lots of links from low scoring sites is going to make you look scammy. Uh, whereas Groupon, it's a well-known site. It's got high DR score. So they're highly trusted by Google. So that'd be a, pardon, that'd be a good one. Uh, AB local, maybe. 
Um, 55 is a good score, but I don't know if they're, um, oh, they're probably fine. But uh, you want to make sure that the sites that you're getting links from um, are high scoring and that they're relevant to you in some way. You don't want just some random like McDonald's in China. Um, it's, it's more important that you, uh, um, sorry, <laughs> I read a text on my phone that was, uh, that was unprofessional. Anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, you definitely want them to be high scoring and relevant to you in some way. Okay, so now how do we get you know, we, how do we get in front of people who are searching for these? So right? there's 200 people a month searching for carpet cleaners in Peoria, typing it exactly this way. There's more people looking for carpet cleaning in Peoria than typing it this way. Um, so how do we, how do we get in front of them? Well, for each one that we want to show up for, we put it into Google and we look at what we're up against. So first of all, come the ads, you could make ads or whatever, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. It's not, it's not relevant. Um, so here is the first place you want to show up really badly. This is um, the map pack, M-A-P-P-A-C-K. Basically, this is the top three local map results. And how you get up here is with citations. So first of all, you want to make sure that your Google My Business is set up properly, that your name, address, and phone number are spelled perfectly correct. And then you're going to take that same exact information. Um, so don't spell it any differently. Um, and you're going to put it onto different citation or different directories like um, Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, etc. Um, and that's going to basically each one of those is going to become a citation and it's going to be a vote of confidence in your business telling Google, like, these guys are legitimate. Um, they're definitely really serve this area uh, and they're well known. Right. And so that will help increase your visibility and, and basically push you up the results. And if you end up in the top three of the maps, then you end up on the first page of Google in this map section. So that's really cool. That'll definitely increase the amount of calls you're getting. And then um, down here, this is another place you want to show up. This is called the organic results. And this is Yelp. This is a directory. So uh, I'm not going to compare you to them. It's like uh, apples and oranges. Right. But here is uh, oxyfresh.com. Um, they are showing up here on the first page um, and they're a local result. Um, even though they're a national brand, they've got a franchise in the Peoria area. So we're going to take a look at that franchise page and go, all right, well, it's sitting here at the top of Google. So what can we do that they're doing? Um, what can we also do that that will help us show up there as well? And then what is it that they're not doing right that we might be able to do better than them? So I kind of went up and down the page to see how many words they have on the page. Not that many. In fact, I don't know, maybe you no, you don't have more than them, but um, you're not that far behind them on, on content. Uh, it looks like a lot on their site because there's, oh, <laughs> because there's lots of images and lots of things going on, um, but it's really not that much content. Uh, and so it wouldn't be hard to beat them out in that way. Okay, and then the other thing is if I right click on an image, click save image as, I can see that they saved this as Paige and John, blah, blah, blah. Um, they do have Peoria carpet cleaning in this, so that is good. That's better than most people do. Um, but you could be a step ahead by saving it, not just having those words in there, but saving it as exactly this specific phrase, exactly the way that it's spelled when people are looking for uh, your services. So that's another indicator that you are the right person to show at the top is if you have your images saved as those uh, phrases that people are using to find you. Okay, now, uh, and we look at their score on Arifs. Well, could show comparatively to them, let's see. Okay, so here's your scores, 21 and eight, and they've got 16 and 52. So even though we you are actually doing better in the you are, um, their DR score is so much ahead of yours that um, you're not being seen as very credible. Uh, so you want to increase your DR score. It doesn't have to be this high, but if your DR score was up where your UR score is, that would be a very strong indicator that you're very well respected. Uh, and Google would definitely uh, reward you for that. And then we can take out uh, check out their referring domains. See, they only have nine. How many did you have? You have 29. 
Um, and they're all pretty much mostly all going to your UR score uh, or your, your home page, I mean. So yeah, it's so that it'll go to your UR score if they're pointing to your home page. Um, and then they've got, you know, these nine, this is just for this one page. This is not for their whole site. So whereas yours was for your whole site, because I did your home page, this is just for this one page. So, um, but what's nice is we can actually go in and take a look at what, uh, what referring domains they have. And you can see they're quite well scoring. They don't have any DRs of zero or even below 10. Um, and this is again, DR score, same as when we looked at it on this page. Um, it's the, the trustworthiness of their entire website. So like yellow dot place has a score of 66. That's pretty impressive. Um, and it's probably pretty um, relevant because I've seen a lot of, a lot of different uh, uh, competition, like um, having this same kind of backlink there. So a very good chance for you to get in front of those people. So um, I hope this was helpful. I really hope that I explained things well. Um, thank you so much for your time and I appreciate it. Um, I hope that you'll reach out to me and we'll, we can talk about how you enjoyed this video. Thank you.